Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky, and today I've got a special guest that's going to jump on and say hey with me. It's Aaron from Inky Beard. What up, fam? If you're new to my channel, my husband Aaron also has a YouTube channel called Inky Beard. If you'd like to follow some journaling, sketching, bullet journal-y goodness. Yeah, some kind of arty stuff. Yeah. so doing lots of sketching recently. You have. You've been working up a storm in your sketchbook. Yes. I'm very excited for when it's finished. And you can mm, yeah, flip through. it's going to be cool. It'll be a while. But it will be a while. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be worth it. It's a very, very thick sketchbook it as is, well. <laughs> it is. And you know what? You know what I love about you is that you're still in the mindset of precious sketchbooks, and you do like five drawings on one page when you have enough pages <laughs> to do fifty million and enough sketchbooks <laughs> to do, last me. Yes, yeah, sketchbooks. <laughs> <laughs> to last me a lifetime. Oh, so process. What we're doing here <laughs> is I'm working in my Dina Wakeley Media Journal and I'm working, this page is actually a canvassy page. Oh, okay. It's made out of canvas, not paper. Oh, that's right. This is the one that's got all the different pages, yes. right? Yes. Mm. <laughs> not a fan. Mm. Not it's of this just, particular it's page, just I'm going to guess. tested me. I, the canvas and the burlap. And the craft. Basically Burlap. everything except oh. white paper Man. tests me. But we're getting there. We're getting through it. I'd I... like to try one of those sketchbooks or uh, journals or whatever that has the, um, is it like a tan coloured paper? Craft. It's craft paper, mm. is that what it's called? It's got that in here. I, oh, right. I don't like yeah. it. No, not Because I've seen people do awesome sketches with it where they do white Yes. Pencil for like highlights and stuff. Yes, it's good in theory. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I better tell the peeps what's happening. Yeah. So I have pre gessoed both of these pages with Liquitex white gesso, and now I'm just using some decorative tissue paper and decoupage paper. Oh, I'm not sure where any of them are from. I'm sorry. And I just stuck down some little bits and pieces using matte gel medium. Here I need to fill in my gaps with some paint. And so I just roughly figured out oh, where the right. stencil was going. Because yeah. this is, it's a stencil, but it's more of a mask. So a mask is when, a stencil is when the gaps in between are where the paint is going to go. <laughs> so if it's... If it's an alphabet stencil, the letters will be cut out. But if it's a mask, it's the outer parts that get the paint. So the outside of this girl is what you paint, not the oh, inside. Oh, I get you. I get yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And with, I think it's a... Right. I never knew the difference between a stencil and a mask. Yeah. That makes so much sense. And in this set, I don't know who it's from. I don't know where I got it from. I'm sorry. Uh, but I, it also has the, the stencil part too. Oh, okay, cool. Which is handy. That's really handy. That's yeah. such a good idea. Yeah. So I'm just going through and I'm it could be a could be a Diane Reevely stencil or Dina Wakeley or are Ranger. You, have you cuz these are normal paint paints, right? Yeah. Are you like watering them or something? No, I'm just using barely any paint. Oh, okay. What do you keep dipping into the white for? To make it lighter. Oh, so right. So that it's not intense pink. Oh, okay. I right. want it to be muted pink. <laughs> intense pink. <laughs> I like it. That's a name for a superhero. Yeah. My name is Intense Pink. <laughs> and I am here to pinkify the world. <laughs> Off topic. So I'm just painting in the little sections that are missing color. Uh, and I'm also making sure that I overlap some of the sides of the tissue paper as well, just to make it look a little bit more seamless and like it's all meant to go together. Uh, now, if you wanted to do the same thing with a just a normal stencil and not a mask, you could easily do that. Or you could just simply draw your own shape and paint around it like hearts or stars, something nice and simple to oh, draw. So the idea is that you would go over where the mask is going to go so that you've got that overlap. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So now... Because I was going to say, why is it so thick? But now that makes sense. Yes, because you... Because uh, I was like, that that mask is quite 
shapely and yes. you just kind of made this giant blob. Yes, I did make a giant blob. <laughs> but that's but by design. It's by design because <laughs> I'm lazy and I couldn't be bothered to perfectly measure where the stencil's going to go. No, that's fair so enough. So it's best to have a bit Across, of overlap. Yeah, it's probably better safe than sorry anyway. Yep. So I'm just using some Dilutions black paint and a makeup sponge and I'm just... A dobber. Spongy dobbing all of that paint everywhere and making my arm fall off because this takes a while. And then by the time I got all of that done, I was like, nope, let's go to the paintbrush. Well, that's fair enough. Like if you're doing a large section. And that that whole other right hand side is also black. It's oh, going to be black, right. Black. It's a double page. Yes. Oh, that's I cool. I can't do single pages. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> are you a single page art journaler or a double page? I cannot. I would totally be a single page. You would so be a single <laughs> yeah. pager. I can't. I can't. That's too much effort. You would so be a single Two pager. Pages. Do you know what? It's interesting. I can't do, well, I, not that I can't do, but I rarely do double page scrapbook pages, but I cannot <laughs> not do double page art journal pages. Hmm, interesting. That's so cool looking. It's cool, hey? Yeah. Let me know in the comments, are you a single pager or double pager with art journaling and scrapbooking as well? I'd be interested to see if there's any other um, people contradictory like, people yeah, like yeah. myself that only do one <laughs> for do one, one and one or, for the other. Yeah. One or the other, but not the same on yeah. both. First, I've never thought about that before. Yeah. So here I am uh, just painting it black and then I'm going to fix up the edges because I did get a little bit of paint under the uh, mask on her arm and I'm just going to fix that up with a black paint pen in a moment after I dry all oh, of this. Oh, to like sharpen the edges yes. or whatever. Oh, yep. okay. See just what you're saying. to fix it up because she kind of looked like she had a bit of a hairy armpit <laughs> and uh, that wasn't quite the look that I was going for. We are going for the gorilla arms She look. also looked like she had some whiskers on her chinny chin chin <coughs> and so I decided to eradicate that for her and give her a quick little waxing job <laughs> and get those out of the picture. By the way, if this is just a side little promo while we're just I'm doing something boring here on the screen. If you'd like to hear our ramblings, we have a creative podcast called Inky Chat. Yeah, we um, do. Which it's hopefully good fun. it is good fun. We took a little hiatus when our little man was on in his first year of life. Yeah, yeah. But we're we're hoping by the time this video comes out <laughs> we're back on track yeah. with some new episodes. Yep. And it's available on iTunes and all the podcast apps. Yeah. Or, yeah. or you can just go to the inkychat.com website. Yeah. Yeah. Side little information because I know I've got a few new subscribers and I am not sure I don't think I've mentioned it for quite a while. So Ah right, fair enough. Yes, thought yes. I would mention it. Yeah. And we always talk about like random creative tangents stuff. as well as creative yeah. thing -os. So if you ever have any topics you'd like for us to talk about as well, you can let us know on the Inky Chat Facebook page um, or on in this video YouTube comments section. <laughs> yeah, hit up the comments. Ooh, Ooh what, was, what that? was that? I think my water bottle, bottle just popped. Yes. Strange. <laughs> um, I'm just going around using my Sharpie Extra Fine oh, paint pen. Oh, right. Okay. Guess what? What? Found my dream white paint pen. Oh, nice. Discontinued. Oh, stop it. I know. Really? Yep. So I don't because know where to get them from. Because that was the thing that we've had issues with for forever. I know. And I found it, and now it's my only it one. It looks so crisp. I know. And like you didn't have any issues with that whatsoever. I know. Which is unheard of. I know. I do have, oh, little oh. Mr. Man has woken up. Goodness. Uh -oh. He'll go um, back to sleep. He'll go back to sleep in a moment. Um, I'm using some background stamps over here with some of my Dilutions ink pad and I just felt like with all of the black of the background I felt like I needed some black incorporated in my girl as well so I'm just using a range of background stamps that I don't know <laughs> their um They're nice and light though home. so it doesn't overpower it yes it just needed a little a little touch of black in there so i just used some text and i think there was like a uh, like, like a, a grid. newsprint or something yeah there was a newsprint one yeah, and right. a graph kind of one. Oh yeah so now i'm doing my quote and my pen dies halfway through oh, no. i managed to resuscitate it and <laughs> force it to finish the page i wonder if you get because the main thing is the nib 
right? No, the main thing is the ink. Oh, really? Well, I've run out of ink. Yeah, no, but that's what I was saying. Like, the main thing with this pen is the nib is good and actually gets out the paint. No, it's the ink. Oh, okay. Because a lot of white paint pens... I was going to say, see if you can just get some sort of refill. No, a lot of white paint pens aren't opaque enough. Oh, okay. And they... They either f- take on the colour that's behind them or they are just more cleary than white. Yeah, right. Fair enough. Um, so you can see here it's it's dying on me. Because those other white pens would be great if the actual paint came out of them. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, so, look how good that I is. I know. It's amazeballs. So white. Let us know in the comments if you know where to purchase these pens. Mm, so they're the extra fine tip, not just the fine tip, extra fine, and they're small, which is sneaky because you don't get as much <laughs> in them. Um, but yes, they're a brilliant white paint pen if you can get your hands on them. But I guess like most people aren't really... Using a white paint pen for much. Oh, yes, they are in oh, really? art journaling. Yeah, art journaling. But I mean, like, if you think about Sharpie's point of view. Yeah, like but it's just a, paint a, pen. a white paint pen. Yeah, but paint pens are used by art people. Not yeah, I know, just... but even white, white is, I would say, is the least used of oh, all of the paint oh, pens. Oh, no, I would say something like yellow or green or like a colour. Uh, maybe for you, black yellow white, or green. Black and white are so much more popular than colours, <laughs> okay. I reckon. Let right. me know who's right, who's wrong. <laughs> so, oh, I think we know. It's me. Yeah. So I'm yeah. using a uni chalk texter now to do a bit of splattering. Oh, right. I was going to say, that's why you're out of stuff. No, because that's... Because you just splat the ink no, everywhere. They're left over that's from all the one. Hello Vintage chalkboards. Yeah, that I did. back in the day. Uh, and so now I felt like that wasn't enough and <laughs> I felt like I needed to use my favourite pen <laughs> even more and waste it. So I'm doing some little doodly bits. They're and cool, though. They're little, cool little doodly stars. Yeah, I do little plus signs and stars, and I think it makes it look a little bit more magical. Not yeah. that I was going for a magical look, but... It looks more like a kind of like a starry galaxy night. Yeah. I'm a rule the world type. <laughs> I'm a rule the world. <laughs> Art journal. Well, that's what it looks like. She's all powerful with her hands on her hips and like, come at me, universe. She's saturated pink. <laughs> So I'm almost done here, but thank you for listening to our <laughs> ramblings today and for sticking with us. Yeah, hopefully. I apologise for like derailing <laughs> the actual. It's all right. I think informativeness. The, voice, the voiceover I just recorded this afternoon. I was talking about potato stickers, so we're all good. <laughs> we're, we derail. Keeping on trend. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, all right, peeps. Well, excellent. Don't forget to give this video a it thumbs looks up really if you enjoyed it. Thanks, Bob. That's all right. Thank you. Um, I do like the look of the canvas once it's done, but doing it is just painful. <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah, don't all forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked a little bit of art journaling today, and yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.